Assalamu alaikum everyone. This is episode 2 of the Quranic Archaeology series. If you haven't watched the previous episode, please do watch it as it outlines the method we are employing to locate cities mentioned in the Quran who earned the wrath of God. But in this video, we will try to locate the Garden of Eden or the Jannah where Prophet Adam and Eve stayed. This video is going to be controversial and will cause a lot of people to dissent with me. But it's my duty to bring to light what I have discovered in the Quran. So let's discuss Olduvai Gorge, which is unarguably the most important fossil sites in the world. Termed as the cradle of human evolution, the site holds the earliest evidence of the existence of human ancestors. Located in the north of Tanzania, the gorge is part of a World Heritage Site called the Nogorongoro Conservation Area. The Olduvai Gorge is over 30 miles long and about 300 feet deep. Paleoanthropologists have found hundreds of fossilized bones and stole tools in the area dating back millions of years, leading them to conclude that humans evolved in Africa. Research at Olduvai began almost a century ago producing an unparalleled wealth of archaeological and paleontological data for the study of some key phases of early human evolution. Over the years, the Olduvai Gorge has revealed remarkable discoveries and recent discoveries suggest that it continues to be a place where the history of evolution is unraveled. Interestingly, Quran talks about Olduvai Gorge. The geographical coordinates of the site are 2 degrees south and 35 degrees east. When we match the geographical coordinates with the chapter and verse number of the Quran, chapter 2 verse 35 says, We said, Adam, live with your wife in paradise. Both of you eat freely there as you will, but do not go near this tree or you will both become wrongdoers. Can you see the connection? A place famous for containing the oldest evidence of human evolution is mentioned in the Quran as the Jannah or paradise where Prophet Adam and Eve stayed before they ate from the forbidden tree and were expelled from there. In my humble opinion, for the first time in history, we can say for certainty that Olduvai Gorge in Tanzania is the Garden of Eden or the Jannah where our ancestors Adam and Eve lived. This is the paradise, this is the Garden of Eden, not some heavenly garden or planet which we Muslims have always believed. It is also worth mentioning that the forbidden tree, if it's literal and not metaphorical, has to be there somewhere in the gorge. I personally don't believe the tree to be literally a tree, I think the forbidden tree is metaphorical. Moreover, it is pertinent to mention that we Muslims have always believed in creationism debunking human evolution in its entirety. But it seems to me that the Quran is indirectly corroborating evolutionary creation by pointing us towards a location celebrated for containing evidence of human evolution and informing us that this is where it all started. I know most of you will be shocked after watching this video and a lot of you will be in a state of disbelief, but that's fine. However, it's not fine for us anymore to debunk evolution altogether. Rather, we need to seriously consider the verses in the Quran which seems to be pointing towards human evolution. For instance, Quran chapter 3 verse 33 which speaks of Adam's istifa or selection to all the people of the world. That is all for today's video. If you find this video to be of any value, give it a thumbs up and share it with everyone you know. Thank you very much for watching. Jazakallahu khair.